So this is K Rider Ignition News, and this we're gonna be doing another Kamen Rider toy review. So let's get started. Henshin. So this is from Kamen Rider Kabuto, and this is a DX Kick Hopper and Punch Hopper, and this is the Bandai Asian version. That means pretty much it was sold other places than just Japan, and it was given the title, you know, the title Bandai Asian version compared to the Japanese version. Usually, I think it was sold more like in around Hong Kong area. And pretty much the difference between this one and the regular Japanese version is there's no difference. Just that it doesn't have the Toha brand on it. But they use the same mold, the same sound effects, the same art design in the box. Everything's pretty much the same. It's just the Asian Bandai version. That's the only difference. And for a while, because it was a Bandai Asian version, it was cheaper. But even this one became expensive because it's the exact same toy. It's the exact same functions. It's just, like I said, it just doesn't have the a Toha brand of approval so that's pretty much it just to give you guys a difference between it so let's look at the box itself again this is, is the same 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 box as uh the japanese version um of course mice is used but really amazing good condition i will tell you the price range in the end of the video of course um we just look at the box itself. It's really cool. There it has Kick Hopper and Punch Hopper right together or the emo brothers <laughs> yeah uh but uh it looks really cool i really like I really dig the design of the suits of their the characters, especially just their their style. I like I like this and right there. It tells you right there, DX Hopper and Puncher, but uh, and it shows you a picture of the, of the belt itself. So let's actually um, actually tells you the same thing in the bottom. But yeah, <laughs> I'm, getting, I'm getting distracted here. But yeah, just uh, I, like I said, I really do dig the design. I like the whole grasshopper theme. I really it's really cool. So now let's actually flip over the box so you guys can see. It all this stuff and it tells you it does with you know all the functions you know pretty much it'll be in japanese even taking this a bandai asian version but yeah uh so yeah it just shows you all the functions it does with that and that's pretty much it you know and then there is some words in english because i guess this is a bandai asian version so it's cool that you do see some american language there in the side and the bottom so that's really cool so now uh let's get a, a look at all the accessories with the belt it comes with so I just want to show you all the stuff extra that comes on the side. This is what goes behind the belt. This actually is uh, for the belt itself. It's small, of course, for a kid, not for a grown person like me. Uh, and here's the Zector belt itself. This is really cool because uh, a lot of the the riders, other riders, they don't, don't use a henshin belt device. device um, they will have this belt underneath their suit. So it's just cool to have this because uh, I know the B, I know a lot of the other writers didn't have it. They had more like weapons, henshin or wrist, henshin devices. So it's just cool to see it. So you guys can, that's how it pretty much it does. You open it and then you pretty much put it right here. You lock it back up. It's really cool. Very small, very basic, but still really cool. Something to have from the show. It was very, you can only, I think you could only get this with the kick hopper or, you know, so yeah, that kind of sucks. I wish they came out so people can have this extra when he came out with the other belts. But I guess it just, it's still pretty cool. Alright, so, let's look at the belt now. Alright, so let's look at the device itself. So the device itself is plain, simple, very light. Like, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, this is something like if you drop it, you could tell it could easily break. Very light. I think even the Japanese version is pretty much, again, the same model and everything. It's the same kind of plastic material. Uh, but And then on and off switches back here. By itself, it looks really cool. I do like the design. It's very simple, but yet you can tell what it is right away. It's a grasshopper, and it's hopping. You know, it's really cool. Now, in the show, um, he, you know, when they tension, they don't, they're the only one in the show I noticed that they don't have like a pre kind of um, armor before they become their final form. They just right away already without that part, like the other writers did they have like lockout you know like kind of like they're in their fresh form so they could be faster and stronger and all that crazy um but yeah so that's it uh the speaker is right here with those sounds and all that comes out and then the other side you can see it's a different color it's really cool i like this so now let's actually test the sounds and, and uh and all that first so let's get do it all right so now let's do the henshin 
So I'm gonna put it open like this. So the first sound you're gonna hear when you turn on, let me just turn it on so you guys can see. And it does the same thing if I turn it on the other side. So first let's do kick copper. Now to lock it in, you gotta really hit it hard because I know sometimes it doesn't do it. So let's do it. Now we want me to do that again to unlock it. You push right here this little black button. It makes that noise again. So you guys want to hear it again. Let's do it. Remember it has to lock in really hard. Now let's do his attack. So his attack you have to really Let's do it one more time. Okay, so let's actually do that one more time. Let's do it one more time. And that's pretty much it. So let me just unlock it. All right, so now let's do the other one. So for the other one, you just have to turn it to this side. And then instead of doing the opposite side, you just crank it in and let's do that. Punch hopper. Do one more time. Just can hear it again. Alright, so now let's do his attack. That sounds really cool. Let's do it one more time just for the heck of it. And that's pretty much it. Oh, right, folks. So that's pretty much it for the video for this awesome belt. So let's talk about the price range and where did I get mines. So I got mines online, and I actually got a really amazing, great deal for about $40, 40 $50 plus tax and everything. And I actually mine this um, used, not brand new. And it's the Asian bandai version now um you are not gonna get it for this price uh i'm saying that because usually prices go higher over the years and i got this is like maybe three or four years ago um but if you do get lucky just keep looking around you may find it for that price if you just keep going online just maybe you'll find a seller who wants to sell it for that price because it's used or they just want to get rid of it you don't know but uh usually retails about for about uh 60 to 80 to 150 depending Brand new is more. Just expect that. Um, this is a very expensive uh, series. I want to say expensive series because it's very popular. And pretty much anything to do with this when it comes to DX toys are very expensive. So expect that. Expect that you know you are going to make a wallet. You know, so just to warn you guys. But it's a must have. If you're a fan of the show like I am, I'm a huge fan. And I'm happy that I, to add this to my collection. Um, and I have, a, I have a bunch of cover toe belts already. So I'm very happy. But uh, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you learned a little bit from this. So thank you. 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 Thank you.